Now for one of nature's most beautiful moments. I love the little foam that comes up to leave a little room for milk. So what is the perfect consistency of this natural beauty, which actually looks freakishly like a yin yang right now, which is kind of exciting. But let's have a look. This is how, uh, this is the amount of milk you should put in your coffee. Wait for it. Perfect color. And of course, uh, you should stir it. Let me grab the spoon. Rinse off the spoon. Because I also use it to stir the grounds in the French press. Oh, yeah. That's it right there. So, it's definitely kind of hard to get out of bed lately with all the like muscle soreness from the CrossFit, but it's only 7.15 now, and I haven't even had a sip of that coffee yet, which I will in just a moment. Uh, but, man, I really kind of do feel like I have energy. Like, I feel pretty relaxed, and I have a little bit of soreness, but it's really not that bad. What am I on? I think that, that was three days in a row. I don't know if I should keep going in a row, but because I'm not doing full workouts yet, like I'm still A, gasping for air like all the time, which is totally normal for beginners, or so they tell me. Uh, and I'm not like doing the full like mega sets with mega weights or anything. So um, it's probably good for me to be going every day just because I'm not like quite pushing all my muscles and everything to the max yet. But anyway, let's get on to the important part. Here we go. That's the good stuff right there. Um, for me, I uh, almost always play uh, Chesney Reed. Um, so the Warnock Reed is almost always what I play. Not, And it's not because other reeds aren't awesome, but for me, that routine works really well. I usually, um, all, all that I really do is I go through a bunch of band reeds throughout the year. And then band reeds that get retired often get converted into solo reeds. Um, so that's the reed I usually play, but there are so many excellent reeds. Uh, by the way, just for the record, that little clip I just did uh, in the class, you know, I'm just explaining what's going on with my instrument. Uh, basically, all sorts of bagpipe reeds are good. You know, um, Shepard, Lee and Sons, G1, uh, Melvin, Warnock, and basically anything that you find on pipersdojo.com, which is our website, is absolutely a read that we endorse. I was just going on about how Warnock is almost always what I end up playing, uh, just because I usually graduate old band reads into solo reads. That's just sort of my routine. It's, you know, um, just sort of how I've always done it, for better or for worse. Okay, next thing. Yesterday, where I ran into trouble is, I dilly-dallied and I didn't have an exact plan for the morning. Then I did my workout, got back from the workout, really tired, and then my remaining time, I really struggled to find any creative time, uh, to, you know, to make the vlog a little better. I didn't love how it came out yesterday, but it was fine, but I want to do a little bit better. And plus, I want to play my pipes uh, on the vlog, and I'm going to come back from the workout, I'm going to be really sore, I'm not going to want to play my pipes, so I'm going to have to have, like, time to make that happen. So, here's what needs to happen. Breakfast, get changed for the gym, drive to work. Then I have to kill all of these items, clear off my desk. Batteries and smoke detectors, that's for later. Uh, a lady named Diane joined the cruise. I've got to add those ads for the September specials. I've got to ship some kilts. I've got to book the cruise flights for our instructors today. And then I've got to add video to the site. Uh, that is what needs to happen by 11.30 when I need to leave for the gym. So... Big question is, am I ADD? And the answer is probably yes. I'm not really that interested in finding out. There's no doubt I have problems with distraction, 
for example, I'm going to go in and do my morning work, and what I really need to do is close out of all the programs that I don't need, especially uh, the Facebook and the Messenger, because every time a little message icon pops up or I hear a little ding, yeah, every time a message pops up or I hear a little ding, um, whenever I see a little message icon or I hear a little ding, I'll go look what it says. And then if it says something that takes me in a different direction, I usually pursue that direction right away. It's like, uh, it's hopeless. By the way, I do the same thing when I unload the dishwasher. So I get very easily distracted. With that said, if it's something I'm really motivated to do, and if I put myself in the right environment, I can get so much work done so fast. And that's what I need to start getting good at if I'm going to perfect my master routine that I'm working on doing here. Um, and so that is kind of what's on my mind a little bit. Check this out. Greatest spot in the entire parking garage. Why you might ask? Well, because that, well, I guess you can't see it. But that doorway right there is uh, where I come up when I return. This is the moment of truth. Yes. Okay, everybody. <clears throat> this is my first one take. So I am going to allow myself to tune up just like I would at a solo competition. Uh, but then I'm going to play today's MSR. Can't remember the name of the march, but it's the first time I've ever played it under any kind of pressure. Then I'll play Susan McLeod. Then I'll play Mrs. McPherson in brand. But I'm going to allow myself a few minutes to get the pipe settled, then we'll rock and roll and see what happens.
Okay, just listened through it. Wasn't terrible. Wasn't particularly great. Um, I'm going to brainstorm this overnight and probably include some criticism of yesterday in tomorrow's vlog. Seems like a good idea, right? Just want to sleep on it a little bit. Um, not totally comfortable with the bagpipe right now. Um, I didn't spend a lot of time setting it up. Uh, lots of other millions of other little excuses. Like, I'm not used to playing on that chanter. That's a different chanter than I usually play. Just got back from a workout. Excuse, excuse, excuse. What really needs to happen is, regardless of all of these other distractions and things going on, I still have to be able to put together my best performance. So I survived, but uh, we'll have a lot of work to do for uh, tomorrow for sure. Okay, teaching a quick lesson here at the Irish Museum in Albany. That's going to conclude my work day, which is kind of exciting. Okay, she's going to be a great player. And that is going to do it for today's vlog.